what's up everyone and welcome to your 34th javascript tutorial in this tutorial we'll be learning about something called recursion in javascript now recursion is not limited to javascript but is a kind of ability of a language to call a function within a function itself now by that what i mean is you can actually call the same function within that function itself unless a base condition is met for example if I create a function hello world suppose I want to write hello world on the screen 10 times so there are basically two approaches I can take in this first one is iterative approach that is using a temporary variable incrementing it to 11 and incrementing it and then doing document dot write hello world looks pretty easy iterative approach and then we have a recursive approach now in recursive approach what we do is we call this function within itself unless a base condition is met so in recursive approach let's comment this out code or okay here we go and in recursive approach what we do is let's create a function hello world and you'll understand better and let's declare a variable down here let's say we want to <coughs> call this hello world function 10 times now we'll call this function hello world within itself so what we'll do is while then do hello world and down here do a document dot write hello world and now I'll explain what's happening here first of all let's see what happens when we execute this okay we haven't called this function in the body yet and here we go uh, let's call the brs hello perfect now now what's happening here in this code is First of all, we are creating a <coughs> i variable set to 10. Now, in this function, hello world, each time this function is called, we are doing a document.write hello world with a break line. And then we are checking while i is greater than 1, that means this loop would stop when i is equal to 0. Therefore, it would run 10 times. And we just want to increment, or sorry, we just want to call this function again so what that does is when this it this function arrives on this line then it checks for this condition decrements i and then calls this function again again this function is called it checks for the condition decrements is again and calls this function again unless this condition becomes false so let's see some real time use of this uh, approach let's say you want to build a factorial program in javascript so i hope everyone knows here what a factorial is if not then factorial is in mathematics a factorial of a number means multiplying that number and decrementing its value unless you are reached to one for example 10 factorial means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 all the way to 1 and similarly 100 factorial means 100 into 99 into 98 and all the way to 1 so this is known as factorial <coughs> of a number so let's try to create a factorial program in javascript both uh, in recursion as well as iterative methods <coughs> to start with iterative let's create an iterative method and uh, let's name it factorial number we want number from input from user and down we here have first of all let's set some uh, validation if number is less than one that means sorry this should be minus one uh, this should be number and if number is less than minus one or basically number should be less than zero actually and 
number is less than zero then obviously that factorial is not possible because minus one factorial could not be uh, stretched to one all the way to one so the number is invalid An invalid number then we have if number is equal to zero or let's put it in s and if number becomes zero then or basically if number is supplied to zero then return one and because zero factorial is one and if you want to learn the proof of it go to some youtube mathematical channel and they'll explain you why zero factorial is one and then the last uh, thing we want to do in this our loop is the main function and let's create a variable any temporary variable you want products is number we are first setting the products to number and then we'll just run a while loop and we'll just do number minus minus is greater than 2 I'll explain what's happening here I will do products is equal to product star number or you can use shorthand as well now here this loop would run unless number is equal to 1 so basically this line would also run when number is equal to 1 and that won't make any difference because any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself so here is our iterative approach to factorial program so let's see if I create a result variable and call this function with let's say factorial of 2 first keep it simple first uh, let's check in console sorry let's console log this I always forget to do this result and here we go okay oh sorry we are not returning anything return products here we go finally uh, here we get 2 because 2 star 1 is 2 let's take some bigger numbers now let's take factorial of 10 and uh, we get this big number let's verify it with Google 10 factorial and we have 362880 362880 cool now so let's take a bigger number 100 factorial now this should be real big and as you can see it's calculated in seconds uh, let's see 100 factorial in Google and here we go the exact same number in the Google as well as in the JavaScript basically JavaScript shows a more precise number than Google but anyways that's how you take an iterative approach to a factorial now let's see a recursive approach to this function and how keep, how can we make a recursive approach to this factorial function let's create the same function uh, let's just do this and uh, let's remove this code the iterative one and let's create the same base conditions if number is less than zero then return invalid else if number is zero then return one now uh, pay attention here because this is our base condition for the recursive one now what's happened here is I'll tell in a minute now else return now pay close attention what I'm doing here number into the function itself factorial and decrementing the number y1 so what's happening here is every time this function supposedly I call this function with here right 2 so this function number contains 2 number 2 is less than 0 this is not true then 2 is not equal to 0 also uh, this is not true now this command uh, uh, is given to this else statement so what it does is it returns number into factorial of number minus one now here the program pauses for a while 
so the program pauses unless uh, until this function returns the value to the parent function and when the factorial number minus one that is one returns as one then this value is put down here so we are basically returned with two into one and I'll explain the uh, working of this recursive recursion in the next tutorial and I'll be using my bad drawing as usual to explain but I hope you will understand what is recursion actually because this tutorial is going too long and it's already 10 minutes on this tutorial so in the next tutorial we'll be learning about the actual working of recursion and if you want to try out this program let's say 100 the same uh, factorial we took for the iteration one and refresh this and we get the same result with the recursive one as well and I guess in the same time so this was a tutorial about introduction to recursion or basically I should name it the intro to recursion and in the next tutorial we'll be finally ending with recursion and uh, knowing how does it actually work in the memory so stay tuned and keep watching my tutorials and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe